So in preparation for the ribs, you're going to need these seasonings. I'm going to put them in the description box. We're going to take all these seasonings. We're going to season up these ribs. I pulled the sinew off of the back of it. That's to help the seasoning get down and through the ribs. And you see I put those smoked um, sauces on top. Now all of my seasonings that I mixed in a little thing, I cut the rib. That's how we're going to cut them in the end to get those little pieces. So everybody will be able to pick up one piece or two pieces of the hors d'oeuvres. So we're going to wrap this up. And we're gonna get it in the oven. And then we're gonna see what it looks like when it's done. And this is all in preparation for your hors d'oeuvres at your next event. Bam, there it is. Okay, to prepare for these salmon croquettes, you're going to need some 17 seasoning, some kosher salt, some mayo, some parsley flakes, some dried mustard, a little bit of accent, some lemon pepper, some onion powder, a, a lemon, and some oil, and some smoked paprika. I mis mixed them all together. I'm sprinkling it over the salmon. Um, I just had six portions. You can use as much or as little salmon as you want. Go ahead and put those in the oven. They cook really quickly. And that's in preparation for your salmon croquettes. Hello. And welcome back to T's Kitchen Cooking Channel. I'm a, I'm a chef. Where I teach you how to cook for large gatherings, events, all of that. You know how I be forgetting. Um, but anyways, cook the, t the word of the day is hors d'oeuvres. So I'm going to do, you know, several little hors d'oeuvres, give you some ideas of uh, how I used to do it at my home interior parties. So listen, we're gonna start with the stuffed mushrooms. So I already have my mushrooms here. This is the type of mushrooms they are. I got those from Costco and they're called mini bellas. They just baby bells. That's all they are. And remember, I'm not really a mushroom person, but I do like um, portobello mushrooms. So these are baby portobello mushrooms. So what I did was, this is jack cheese inside of here, if you can see that. I just cut up little squares like that of the block of that jack cheese I showed you in the beginning. And I just took them and I started sticking them inside because I like that little cheese flavor. And then I gave you all the ingredients that's going into here. So, okay, so listen, we're going to go ahead and mix this up. But first I want to show you, I cleaned these off with a damp, um, some napkins. Um, not soaking wet, just damp. And you wipe them down, and you just wipe them, wipe them, wipe them. So listen, this is how I take the stem out. I don't, well, you can't make stuffed mushrooms with the stem in there. So see, it pops, and it comes right out. Great your ray, garbage bowl. And I set that to the side. I'm going to show you one more. Even the shorter ones, they'll pop right out. See that? Comes right out. Great your ray. So then what I did was I took a little chunk that I cut out of the block of that jack cheese and I just stuck it in there like that. Okay? So here go another one. I cut up some extra ones just because I didn't count my mushrooms. So now let's make the mixture for this. So you know we got some crawfish. That was um, four pounds, I believe. Look at this little bit of crawfish you made. And we had to clean those things too. Oh, this was two thirds cup of fresh celery. I cooked it until it was tender and it just went to half of that. So it's like one third after you cook it, but it's two thirds of fresh, finely chopped celery. So anyways, let me start putting this stuff in here. So that's the celery and I want all of that too because it's just a little bit of this and a little bit of that. Should be putting that in my racial ray bowl. And then you know I like my red um what are these bell peppers? And I just did a third of a cup, barely a whole third, just you know, get that color in there, that little sweet taste, that little natural sweet taste. And then this is that four pounds, what it was in the shell. Now it's probably like two ounces. <laughs> Anyway, so I chopped these up, I cooked them, and um, I chopped them up, 
just so there'd be little pieces of that. Cause you know, when you go to Red Lobster and you get stuffed mushrooms, they got some crawfish in there. I just made a mess. So after you put that in, I got a cup of cheese. This is mozzarella. I'ma just put, I'ma eyeball it. We're gonna just see what it's looking like. Cause we want it to be cheesy. We want it to be cheesy. And I want to get this jack cheese in there too. So remember, this is a cup, and I may come back to that. But I want to see what it's going to look like. So I'm putting some jack cheese in there, get that flavor. And then this is two cups of turkey stock. Whenever I make stock, would I make it turkey neck? So if you make it chicken or whatever, and you have a stock, save it. Freeze it and save it. So let's just start pouring it in. You're going to have to eyeball this because you don't want it uh, soggy. And this is my, also I did um, six muffins of cornbread. And believe it or not, you guys, I did it homemade from scratch. I actually tried, uh, I don't, I, you know, I guess what it was, that regular cornbread, um, I forgot what it's called, but in that blue and yellow box, whatever it is, that stuff is, Thick and heavy like a tank. So I tried a different one. It wasn't Martha White. Um, I forgot the name of it. I'll put it up in the description box and on the screen. But um, see, I want some more cheese. So we're gonna put some more mozzarella. See, now I'm using that whole cup. And if I want some more cheese, I got more cheese. This is that jack cheese in that whole cup. So we got two cups of cheese in here now. Two different kinds of cheeses. And if I want some more cheese, I'm gonna put some more cheese. <laughs> Let me stop with all this cheese. Don't y'all do that to yourself, but you sure that's good. So anyways, I can kind of see that it's kind of forming together because you don't want this to be dry. And it's not gonna be dry because you gotta realize cheese, sorry about that noise, has oil in it so that oil is going to come out and be all up and through this nice mushroom so what i'm gonna do is take this if i have to use my hands i will i don't want to but if i have to i sure will let me look at this anyways you get it on there i wish i could find my gloves and you don't need a lot. Don't pile it too high because it's going to run off the sides. And so try to just fill the cavity. I'm doing too much. But and I'll probably sprinkle me a little cheese on top. <laughs> just a little bit. Not too much. So that's all I'm going to do is, is uh, stuff these just with a little bit and push it down. In there like that it's a snack these are hors d'oeuvres finger foods so listen i'm gonna sit this to the side well no i told reg we're gonna do three rows because i want to get to that um salmon croquette that i got going on right there so what i'm gonna do is <laughs> i'm gonna speed this part up on the video that I'm going to add to my salmon croquettes you don't have to do this I just want it a little lighten it up a little bit a little bit tender so these are I showed you the, the salmon and how I cooked it in the beginning and I'm going to use my hands in this clean hands um and I have a rag and I, I took the skin off the back of these because look so all I'm doing is like this show that ridge just crumbling this up i do not want to put this in a food processor or anything like that because i i don't want baby food i want some chunks you know i wanted to bind together but i want some chunks so i think that 
I am going to do how many more? Maybe one more. Oh, uh oh, miss some skin. No bueno. We don't want that. No, she don't. What you miss all that, Patricia? That's what TJ called me, Patricia. <laughs> Boy learned how to talk and don't know how to stop. Let me take this off. So, all right, we're gonna start mixing up all of the ingredients, which is not a lot at all. Look, I got I'm so prepared. I got napkins and wet tea towels. If you know, that's not a tea towel, but um, this is just a cloth. But, anyways, because I wanted to wash wipe my hands off. And I got me some, some more pepper towels. The fan don't blow them away. So listen, we're going to start with, I don't, I don't want to even start with that egg yet. I want to season up my stuff, taste it, and then add the egg. Don't do that before. This is about two-thirds cup of mayo. I don't know if I'm going to use all of this. You can also use, um, instead of this, if you don't like mayo, See right now, I'm just we're gonna see how how it does. It's about two thirds cup because I didn't fill this this container up. If I would have filled this up, it would be a cup. So what I'm gonna do is get me some of this garlic lovers. I'm not measuring. We just gonna sprinkle, sprinkle, and taste. That's all. Got a little onion powder. You cannot go wrong with onion. That that kind of rhyme, come rich. A little bit. You cannot go wrong with onion. Lemon pepper. Don't slip on this when you're making seafood things. Not too much though, because it is lemon in the meat. And then I'm gonna use a little bit of dry buster. But you don't have to use dry, you can use regular. I go either way. So I'm gonna put a little bit of dry mustard to cut up that richness. You know, this is that, uh, the pepper, the garlic pepper that I show you and I use and grind up in my uh, daughter's grinder. Oh, now I gotta get into this. Ah, lordy. I can already tell this is dry. So this is not going to be no bueno. Well, I shouldn't say that because I'm gonna have to add an egg, but it feels a little dry. We don't want no dry salmon croquette. I don't think so. But you can also, like I said, you don't have to use mayo. You can use mustard. Whatever kind of mustard you like. But not if, if you don't use this one. Because you need something moist in here. See how that's helping it out? We don't want it to taste like mayo. So... Anyways, and you saw all the seasonings that I put on here. At this point, you can add some chives. You can add whatever you want to, just like I did. I had to put that little piece of, a piece and a half of flounder. I got that little pack from, I think, Aldi's. Now, I have a lemon here. And it's just half a lemon. I don't know if I'm going to use all that lemon. Look at those seeds falling out. Don't nobody have time for that. Be biting on those seeds. No bueno. <laughs> Rachel Raybo. I should have just, I wanted you to see this. That's why I didn't do it ahead. I go another lemon seed. Rachel Ray. Look at that. So it's about a half a lemon strength of what I have. I got more strength in my right hand because I'm right handed. Okay. Well, that's all she wrote right there. So, I'm going to mix this in. I wish I, like I said, I wish I do with my gloves or because I would just put those on then I'm going to have a big old handful of Magnus. Y'all remember that movie called Mag, is it Magnemus? Was that, mm -hmm. was that it? I have no idea what you're talking about. I, 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 me either. I don't know what I'm talking about. But, uh, Cause I forgot the movie. Oh! Remember when I tried to throw something up in my mouth? Ah, uh, yeah. Kept missing. You know what? 
I know y'all think I'll be lying when I'll be like, that's it right there. I don't even want to put this egg in here, but I got to put it in as a binder. Let me let you taste the reg. It's on here. You know what that binder? I'm put it in your hand. Oh, shit. Oop. Did you just cuss? I said shoot. Oh, okay. Okay, calm down. Well, we have to Family count. Mm. That's good, huh? Yeah, it's good. You need some... I'm gonna try to wash my hands. I could have gave you this. Now you need to dry them. Mmm. Here. Yeah, that's good. I'm gonna go ahead and put this egg in here. It's a binder. Got a multitask and, um, here. I'm just gonna use one and see where we end up. Rachel Ray, I love that little bowl my daughter got. I don't know where she got it from, but it comes in handy. Now I cannot taste this stuff. Don't taste stuff with raw stuff in it. You know, when I do my sweet potato pies, I'll taste it one last time with them eggs in there and say a Hail Mary. You know, you got to bless your food, even if you cooking it. So, all right. I got that um, flounder. That flounder is what woke it up. Yeah. So, uh, at this point, look. We want hors d'oeuvre size. We don't want no big old patty. That's a patty. That's a burger. We don't want that. So we're going to sit up here. And look, I'm smashing these together. Like I'm a dang on compressor. That's still probably too big. What you think? Uh, you know, people be trying to get full off your hors d'oeuvres. Rule of thumb, if, I, if, if my memory serves me correctly, is two pieces of each type of hors d'oeuvre. You can always go back for more, but to just stand there and just start picking out stuff, and I have seen people do it as something that I'm having, just stand there and pick out all of the strawberries, and I'm like, no, don't do that. Don't do that, because I'm handling with strawberries. <laughs> oh my God, and then I watched somebody just stand there and eat up all the uh, shrimp. I said, oh my Lord. Somebody came over to me and said, why is that person standing there just eating up the shrimp like that's a, a part of the uh, the main meal? And I just shook my head. I said, well, you know, if you don't know, you don't know. And then I even had a person, I made gumbo once uh, at a church and I made it there on site. And literally one of the members, and I knew her, came in that kitchen and literally started digging in the pot, taking all the crab out. And I said, you cannot do that. And she got mad and threw it all back in there. Thank you and remove yourself from the kitchen. <laughs> Crazy nut. Anyways, so I'm just giving you some examples of how to do these. I'm, a, um, let me, I'm not gonna use this second egg. So I'm gonna just look at that. Let me move that out the way. Just sprinkling it, cause we don't want no thick old thick. This is just some breadcrumbs. These are Italian breadcrumbs. You can get any kind of breadcrumbs you like. And then you just pat it a little bit, just to get a little crustification as a, uh, what's her name? Plus size Shay. Y'all check out Plus Size Shay. She been doing YouTube for some years, working her little way. <laughs> the first time I saw Plus Size Shay, I just happened to come across her channel. And she was peeking at some people arguing <laughs> at the pool at her apartments. And she was like, kind of, she done had a camera on them, but she just kind of, <laughs> she was like, girl, look. <laughs> I said, who is this lady? At the swimming pool, honey, and I don't know if she had on a two-piece or a three-piece. But she did not care, honey. She wore her little baby suit and kissed all of her behind. But I thought she was funny. And I subscribed to her. And I've been rocking with her for some years now. But that's plus size shape. She be talking about crustification. So anyway, see how I'm doing that? Make them as big or as small as you like. You can make them even smaller, you know. I just know that sometimes people, you know, they they really want more, 
than one and you know they don't want it to look like you know they're getting a lot of stuff so i try to make a lot usually what i do or whatever i'm making so anyways we're gonna go ahead get these on the, i'm gonna show you how i fry them and um that's gonna be that with these and see I, i'm pressing them together but not with a lot of um see not a lot of breadcrumbs and you know what even though i just happen to have italian breadcrumbs you would think that didn't that would not go with this but it actually tastes good so listen i'm gonna wipe my hands off again because we gotta go over to the stove i was gonna say Ridge, what you do take all of my napkins mm -hmm. nah. that's I all you this? yeah that's all you the salmon. Oh, the salmon. Yeah. The salmon. All right, listen. Let's go over here, like plus size say, and get some crustification. So we're going to start out with these. Come on, Larry. Let's go over here. Hopefully this oil is hot, but not too hot. It feels like it is. I have it on low. You know, you just kind of want to. Lord, don't let me burn up my fingers. There we go. She good. I'm going to turn it up a little bit. We don't want these to soak up a lot of oil. And your breading will soak up oil if you have a lot on there. And don't be scared to repat them together. And just be careful putting them down. That's all. Because I can see, you know, let me put that like that. See, I'm smashing it back together. I see the little crack coming in there. I'm going to give a dog anyway. It can be cracked, but it tastes good. And then you can also have you a little sauce. I'm going to have some sauces all set up so that you have people have choices of uh, what they may want to have. So anyways, I'm going to keep on making those. We already have the uh, mushrooms, the stuffed mushrooms in the oven. I got some other stuff that I already did that you already know how to make. So I'll show it to you in the end, but we're going to get these all fried up, done, put it all together, and come right back. Okay, welcome back, and welcome to this big old spread. Listen, we're going to start from left to right, my left. We got some crab legs. We have some artichoke and jalapeno stuffed. Got this from Costco. Into some uh, cucumbers that I cut in half, you know, cut little bite-sized pieces and melon balled out the little inside the seeds and then I filled it with this dip. Put any kind of dip you want in there. Got some deviled eggs, which you should, you already know how to do. Bought some sandwiches from Winco, or you can make your own. I made those salmon croquettes that I showed you how to make and season, season it up any kind of way. You could just use salt and pepper and call it a day. I made my homemade egg rolls right here, shoulder nose ridge. That's my own recipe. And then I got some salsa, chips, got all the sauces that you can use for your little buffet, your little finger foods. I got some barbecue ribs. Remember those ribs I did and I just basted them in that barbecue sauce and cooked them low and slow. Then I got some of that red chili cherry sauce from the other video, the Valentine's video I did. This chili, this chili cherry sauce is it can go with some of everything. It can go with this, it can go with this, it can go with that. It can go with the egg rolls. I would even spread some on these dang on, uh, what is it? Crab. Crab legs. <laughs> I'll be tripping. <laughs> anyway, then here go those stuffed mushrooms. We got some hot wings. I did a hot wing video already. You could just go back and look at that hot wing video. And that's just some ideas of what you could do at your party. Of course, you would make large sums of this. I used to do huge platters of crab and shrimp and put it all on the same platter. And then I do about 200 egg rolls and uh, all just all kind of stuff. Ribs, chickens, different kinds of chicken. I haven't done the stuffed mushrooms yet. That would be a tedious job. But anyways, listen, I got my little hors d'oeuvres on my plate. So I'm going to start with the deviled egg. But 
the devil did make me do it. I don't know why they even call it devil eggs. Why they call them that? It's a good egg. Mmm. You know what? I love flavor. And the reason why I'm always saying, oh my God, that's so good, because I'm going to add some flavor. I'm smaller now, but I'm a big girl at heart and grew up a big girl. Have you ever met a big person that couldn't cook? Ting. That's why we know how to flavor stuff. So anyways, that's why I thought to take this little cucumber and fill it with this artichoke and jalapeno dip. You can use any dip. You can use whatever you got. You know, what is your recipe? Put it in here, bite-sized pieces. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. That is so refreshing. That is so refreshing. And you always want to have things at your event or party or gathering that some of everybody can eat. Even though I have pork, but I also have chicken. You can also have, um, you know, other things, salads, of course. You want fruit. You know, you want uh, meatless dishes. You know, um, try to include some vegan a little bit in there or some vegetarian dishes in there. You know, something that, every, that can reach everybody. You can make cabbage dishes, and that's for people that can't have any kind of salt, pork, or whatever, and you can have a nice mellow dish. But anyways, listen, I ain't gonna keep you guys. I'm gonna go ahead. I'm eating. You see, I'm eating right. I'm eating right. I'm not eating. Well, I am eating one of these, but I did mine without the cornbread mixture. I just put cheese in mine and a little bit of that, um, what are those things we cut up, Rich? The, um, the little... No. Um, <laughs> the, uh, those things we have to pull the tails off of. Lobster tails? You know mm -hmm. what I'm putting on. Uh, crawfish. Crawfish. Okay, I'm like, hold on. That's See, practically the same. My memory is better and better every day because I thought of it before them. Mm -hmm. And Chris was with me when I bought them, and Reg was helping me clean them. So my memory gets better and better every day. Alright, so listen, I can have this and I can have. Santa croquette. Good for me. <laughs> like lips say, I saw that. Because he be dropping food all the time. Now I ain't dropped some. <laughs> but anyway, I wish I had a spoon or a fork because I would put some of the creamy cherry sauce on my Santa croquette. That's some good sauce. I got, you, you know what? I'm going to have one chip. Because I want some of this. <coughs> mm, well, then, yo. Wait a minute, hold up. Let me get a sip ahead of time. My chip fell in. Yeah, how about you doing that on purpose? No! Bobby Flay's red chimney cherry sauce. Y'all need to go back and watch that video. <clears throat> I should have put Valentine's on it. This sauce right here, I'm going to call it a panty dropper. Hopefully, y'all don't know what that is. <coughs> Somebody <laughs> draws getting dropped with that. Anyway, all right. I'm going to bid you all to do. These are all the sauces I think Reg already showed you. This is for the sandwiches. If you like Miracle Whip or mayo. I forgot to put the mustard out because some people like mustard. But anyways, that's it. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. Don't forget to subscribe. Did I say that? Mm -mm. Don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe. You know how we be making them words to, to what I say, Sakai. 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 Let me stop. It's 
late. And uh, I'm feeling good though. I'm awake. And um, I'm gonna eat what I can eat. Oh, these are so good. I, I think I'm gonna try to take that one to, almost to myself. Mm. Mm-hmm. All right, guys, I don't have food in my mouth, do I? No. Don't drop that. You playing around too much. Yeah, no, I'm and you. Elder. I know how to swirl a glass. Yeah, but you also shaky, okay? I'm not shaky tonight. Boom. Mm, I don't know. That right arm. <laughs> that right arm, okay. Looks like a liability. You know what? You just right on alone. <laughs> <laughs> All right, come on, let's do it. Lemonade. That cool refreshing drink. Wow. I got food all in my teeth. Sorry. <laughs> so let me go back to trying to be sexy. Okay. Wow. <laughs> Fruit punch and lemonade. What am I supposed to do? I forgot. You take a, a sip. That's it. That is such a good drink. Fruit punch and lemonade. Wow, for real. Krista will do too. All right, you know what? I shouldn't have tempted myself with this chimichurri sauce. I just want one more chip. Are you sure? I just want one. Okay, I had one. What you think, Chris? No. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Y'all cold bloody, but you all right, let me stop. Okay, listen, you guys. <laughs> That's the family all up in my business. Don't want me to have a second chip. <sighs> anyway. Alright, listen. I appreciate you, I you guys for real for watching, tuning in, spending time, giving me my watch hours, subscribing to my channel, all of that. Welcome to my channel. If you are a new subscriber, I appreciate you. Let me know when you subscribe because in my description box, I also thank all my new subscribers and I put your name down so that you know that I know you're a subscriber and I appreciate you. But and, and YouTube doesn't let me know that all the time. Because I have like 600 and something subscribers. I did not get 600 uh, emails telling me that these people subscribe. I may have gotten 10. So you have to let me know. So I can let you know that I appreciate you. Thank you so much. God bless you. And keep me in your prayers. And I'll keep you in mind. Alright. Till next time. Bye bye. <music> Thank you.